he got married last year, so 23rd. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say all of that but in like three lines? <laughs> oh my god, it has already been a year. It's crazy. We got married last year. 23rd May 2019 and literally this year has just flown by. Today I have my quarantine partner, my partner in crime here with me, Jahan. Hi guys, my name is Jahan. That's how she sounds, right? <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, uh, as Karina mentioned, it is our one year anniversary and uh, what we wanted to do for our one year anniversary was uh, create a set list of questions, which uh, for full disclosure, we haven't shared with one another. And in answering these questions, I hope you guys, you know, get entertained. I hope you guys get to know us a little bit better and uh, I hope you guys have a good time. Oh, and wait till the end of the video because I'm sure there are going to be a lot of bloopers. Um, first would be to have patience because there will be so many days where you're angry or happy or sad and so many things that will happen because you're living with another person now. Number two would be it's okay to do your own thing because there are so many times where we end up doing the same thing together. So whether it's watching a show or eating a certain type of food or going somewhere and then there are times where you don't want to do those things i want to eat mexican he probably doesn't so it's okay to do your own thing but it's best to communicate that third thing would be to say sorry there are so many times where it's gonna be your fault like we're humans we're not perfect it will be your fault and it's okay to say sorry and that's something i've really learned in the past year uh, yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, so my number two and three besides patience uh, would be to give each other space. Um, and I know that was already sort of reiterated, but it's very important, especially right now when we're in quarantine. Yeah. Um, it's important to give space uh, because you want to do your own thing as well, but you also want to be together. And, and, and so you need to find that balance. My third thing that I learned was uh, just to be in tune with uh, each other's uh, needs, feelings, Wands. So one of the biggest surprises was our OCD levels because I know I was pretty OCD when I was at home. I wanted everything to be neat and clean and that's how my mom is. After living with him, like I realized he's also at a different level. Anytime we're cooking or anytime we're doing something, we have to clean up after that. Uh, yeah, that's a good one actually. I didn't think about that. <laughs> um, the biggest surprise after living with each other, um, that you're actually a good cook. Uh, that was uh, the biggest surprise. <laughs> Look, going into it, didn't have any expectations. Oh my god, the first month we've <laughs> had the crampiest food ever because I've never cooked before. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it was just a horrible food, but like he's so sweet, like he's not picky at all, like he'll eat whatever I make. Um, that would definitely be how chill his family is. He is coming from a Parsi family and as we all know, they're really chill. Like the first time that I met his parents, like literally we were just drinking. And that's something I really admire about his family, about how easygoing they are, how fun they are, and just like super chill. One thing that I really love about her family is just how caring they are. And you know, they're a very close-knit family. Um, and uh, I like to say that I'm now a part of it and they, and they haven't treated me any different. Um, so I just love that. I love how caring they are. It was our six month anniversary and uh, I had booked a uh, hotel uh, on Niagara. the falls at Niagara Falls and, um, and it was really memorable because we had a great time. Uh, mm -hmm. We got a view, like a spectacular view. They hooked us up with champagne. Um, <laughs> and just to see that uh, look of surprise on Karina's face, um, I think it made yeah. everything just worth no, it. That was amazing. One of my memorable moments has got to be moving into this apartment. We lived with his parents for seven to eight months, but we really wanted our own space and I love it right now. <laughs> I think they're connected and I'll, and I'll explain. One good habit is that she's super clean, right? That's a good habit, I love it. The bad habit is she'll, she'll, she'll oh my sweep, God, don't even. she'll sweep, but then she won't pick it up. But only when it comes to grooming, I can sweep everything. I just hate putting it in that 
Supri. What do you call that? I don't know. <laughs> the Supri is the scooper. <laughs> the scooper. The scooper. I just hate putting it in the scooper and then putting it in the trash. So I just leave the pile of dirt there and then he picks it up. I'm going to say his worst habit is... So when he's eating food, the worst thing is that he'll just leave the glasses or the cups or anything. It'll just stay there. And then we have to go collect all his glasses and cups from the house when we have to do the dishes. Good habit is how disciplined he is. Like if he thinks he wants to do something, he'll do it. And right now during quarantine, that one thing that I really noticed is that he works out every day. Even though it's like five to six minutes, he'll do it and he'll meditate. To go out, um, not really even have dinner. Just, yeah, just, 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 drinks, just, yeah, just drinks dancing. and dessert. Yeah, drinks, dancing, dessert, um, and just talk, talk for hours on end. I truly enjoy her company um, and just having those moments. But I'm more of a homebody. Ideally, it would be just like chilling at home, watching a movie, making some pizza, having wine, just yeah, just chilling basically. So the thing is, we are both savers, okay? We don't really spend a lot of money, we save a lot. But there are times where he goes overboard with buying alcohol. Honestly, we don't need so much alcohol in our lives. We can never have enough alcohol. That's, but, that's my Parsi lineage. I'll stick oh to that God. one. Um, what does she spend money on? Look, I'm blessed. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't spend that much money at all. Honestly, um, yeah, we don't. We, we don't really we don't. spend that much money, but we don't. even if we do, it's something that we need yeah or yeah that's it except like. alcohol that if one person is to do a task um and the other person has an opinion on it uh don't you let them be just yeah. let them be just walk away you know um and so but but you know initially early on that's what we used to fight about like yeah. how to do the dishes or how to clean up or how to you know put something in its proper place wherever yeah. that might be Remember when we argued about the position of the uh, garbage bin in the bathroom? Oh my god. Should it be yes. beside the right side of the toilet yes. or the left side? We had a stupid argument about where the trash can should be in the bathroom, on the right of the toilet seat or the left. Yeah. But literally, there was one week, <laughs> every time I would walk in the bathroom, I would put it on the left side. <laughs> and the next time he would go, he would put it on the right side. That happened for a week. For me personally, the biggest argument is about food. I am very picky, okay? I'm very picky with what I eat, how I eat it. But him on the other hand, he will experiment like crazy. Like he's gonna add like random stuff and the random things that he eats. There are so many things that he makes, but it's just like, I don't like it because I don't wanna eat it like that. And that's something that we always argue about. I personally feel um, that Queen is a very loving, caring person. Uh, I'll be working or something and she'll bring food in, for example, randomly. Um, she doesn't have to say anything. That's her, that's one of her ways that she cares for me. And that's one thing I've learned, like the way to his heart is through his stomach. So I personally like it when someone does things for me. So whether it's like cleaning the bathroom or doing the dishes or basically helping me out in the house chores and this is something I'm so blessed with because all the chores in the house like we divided equally. I'm always internalizing things. I think a lot, I make up scenarios in my head and it's just like I pull myself down and that's something he really like balances me off with that because he thinks in a completely different way and very optimistic approach towards any topic in the world. And that's really something I look up to and I hope I can do that one day. I think you will. Um, thank you for that. Um, one thing that I look up to um, is how brave she is. Um, you know, it takes a lot, it takes a lot out of someone to put their entire life out there. Um, I know I couldn't do it, I'm a very private person. Thank you. And here you are. Yeah, there I here Being I am. So public with everybody <laughs> out there. <laughs> That's right. This answer is super easy for me. Um, Jahan is super good with instant food. So whether it's making a pack of Maggie or making the packaged macaroni or 
<laughs> or any kind of instant noodles. He's so good at it. No, honestly, this is a skill because my Maggie is so crappy. I always put too much water because I'm so greedy for the soup. So it's either always overcooked or really watery. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, one thing that you that I enjoy, uh, food-wise. So we have a ritual um, where on the weekend uh, we end up eating pawa. And she makes chai, bawa, we sit, we sit, we, we talk, we maybe watch something, and we do this like on the weekends. Every Sunday. Or every Saturday, Saturday or Sunday. Ends. So, um, as you're aware, uh, we have had an eight year relationship long distance prior to our one year of marriage. And uh, one thing that kept us going was communication. Uh, my main factor to keep the relationship going is just to do like little things that make that other person's life easier. So whether it's making a meal for them or doing their laundry or just folding their clothes or just tiny little things that will make their life easier. One of my favorite things is literally having your best friend with you forever. Um, number two would be like sharing everything, whether it's sharing your food or if you're watching something or if you're doing something or if you want to go somewhere, just like sharing that time and space and I just love being around him. I think my number one thing is that I married my best friend. And so any decision that I make in my life, I want to be sure of. And I couldn't have been more sure than sticking through. We all, we both, we yeah. both stuck through it. So the best thing about being married is being married to your best friend. Initially, even during long distance, it would literally be us not talking to each other. And earlier, it went on for like three days, four days, maybe five days that we just wouldn't talk. Recently, <laughs> Recently. We've, we've literally just been able to resolve the fight in one hour's time or like maybe yeah. like a few hours and someone will realize whose fault it is. Somebody. 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 <laughs> Usually realizes whose fault it is, apologizes. We give each other a hug and we just move on. If you want to take anything out of this video, it's that, uh, you know, the quarantine has allowed us to be better problem solvers. Yeah, you pick your fights. Like you, you have to fights. pick your battle. You need to know what's worth arguing about. Is the way he does dishes worth arguing about? Yeah. No, I realize that. Yeah. Is really the way not... that she's sweeping but then doesn't pick it up, is that it's worth really it? It's really not it's worth not it. It's not worth it. There are so many bigger problems to argue about. Yeah. So just like pick your fights. That's right. really looking forward to actually just like going out traveling seeing a lot of the places near us because we haven't been able to do that yeah no definitely traveling's up there you know i personally feel like i just want to create more memories at the end of the day that's all that we have our memories and uh you know those moments that take our breath away and so in the next year i want to create more of those and it could be traveling it could be you know going down to the bar and just like drink till 5 a.m or whatever yeah. or just i'm looking forward to being more part of these videos hopefully yeah uh, and let, let me know sorry to cut you off but like let me know if you want more videos about us like whether it's us talking about our long distance or if you guys have any questions put all that in the comment section below so we know what other videos we can shoot because now that i have him on board <laughs> he's really excited to shoot some stuff so yeah just give us some recommendations about like what you want to watch as well so um, I hope you guys have had a good time. I hope you guys gained an insight into our lives. Yeah. We look forward to the years ahead. And stay tuned for more videos just like this. And also, please hit the subscribe button. It's free of cost and it will mean a lot to me. But we will see you next time. Yeah. Until then, take care and bye. Mwah. No, just one bad. No, we have to do one good one I don't bad. have a good. Yeah, think about it right now, quick. <laughs> okay. Let me think. Let me think, woman. <laughs> my back's hurting. Okay. Let me do my shit. Something <laughs> annoying. Be cute. I need another drink. No. What? Go with the answer. Oh. Drink later. What's the next one? Uh, oh my god. Don't even. Uh, 13. No, I don't want to be done breathing. <laughs> I'm breathing. <laughs>